we got ourselves here is a JBL Eon powered speaker. This is making some buzzing. It's not the first time it's been making some buzzing. Someone else had it open before and they fixed it and now it's not any good anymore. So we're gonna pop it open. Okay, let's see if anything else has to come out. Probably these big guys. Or maybe these are for some kind of mounting. I don't know. Aha! Uh -huh. One screw that feels kind of stuck. Now we're going places. But I'm. So this here is the power supply. This is probably the problem probably these capacitors that are bad so we're gonna get this case off and we're gonna get these out well I finally got it open it turns out one of the corner screws wasn't all the way out so that's why I couldn't lift the case clean off here's what the insides look like so the power supply is over there so to get this board out, we're going to need to take out all the wires that are in the way of getting it out. So we'll start with these two grounds. Oh, don't do that. This is... That's not in the way too much. These need to come off. This is, might be a two-hander. So that came off pretty easy, actually. I just had to reach in from the back. And there's a little tab. And when you push down on the bottom side of the tab, it comes off easy. Now the next line that would have to come off is... Where does this go? Oh, that's a power light. If we can just flip this board out, we probably don't have to unplug that. Well, that We'll see what kind of connector is on that once we get this board somewhat out. here this is our board on the input side output side preamp so should just be able to pull on that and it comes down yeah it's coming there we go so this is all free except for the speakers in the way tweeter is threaded in it looks like but she's got some good sticktivity to it. I can't just get her out with my hands, as far as I can tell. I was doing some thinking, and if I take out this power input board here, I can just get rid of this top case completely for now, so I'm gonna do that. I could unplug this, but it's actually kind of tricky to get it out without cracking the board, because when I was pulling on it, this whole PCB was flexing. So, probably easier to just do this. The fun part is going to be putting it back together with one hand. As it turns out, you can break this loose. Just give it a bit of force. Obviously unplug the wires first and take a picture so that you know where they went in respect to the logo. Can I put this flat down? Yeah. Okay, now that's a lot easier to deal with. And that 
that's what, number one, Phillips? We'll be right back. Okay, the big reveal. What am I missing? These are kinda one ways, so gotta get the pliers out to get over that. What about over here? Any more impediments? No, that should all just kind of lift out. Unless this is a big heat sink that's permanently stuck onto something back here. We should take a look. Looks like that is indeed the case. So, I guess I didn't really have to take out those little screws. But I do have to take these out. Springs, I guess. Now that moves pretty freely. Just need the pliers over here. I can't get any closer with my tripod setup, so sorry. That's that side good. So the power LED is a little connector that you can you can get it out. Someone can. I'm gonna go get a flat screwdriver. I don't want to risk it. So just this little spot in here to get the power LED connector off. Sorry. There we go. And then the last step is unplug the main driver. So, just for my own reference, the black goes towards the power input board side and the red goes towards the XLR board side. And they're different size blades, so you won't screw that up anyways. Good. Now this is freed up, we can take a look. Okie dokie, so I've got the board here. I'm just gonna do the work myself instead of getting my buddy to do it because our province is in super uber lockdown. So I can't even go to his house. Well, technically I never was allowed to, but now I even more can't. So I've got the capacitors here that I want to put in and actually this was the second try before I got the right ones because I ordered the right ones but not the right ones. They're the right numbers on them but they're a little skinnier and a little taller and I can't have the extra little bit of length because the way this fits in I'll show you there's just no room for it. That little bit. So the iron is up to temperature, and let's see about getting these off. Oh, got a bunch there. We're going places. Let's get the other. Run. That might be enough for it to come out. Is it glued on to? Ah, oh, that'd be annoying. Yeah, a little bit glued on. Okay, well let's desolder the other one. Thermal compound. Yummy. See how we're doing. Don't 
ใครก็ได้ว่าApparently, I turned my soldering iron off, but I don't remember doing that. I'm sure when I go back to the video, I'll see exactly where on the audio waveform a little click, and that's where I turned it off. But that would explain why I wasn't heating anything up. Genius. Oh, some movement. Haha, <laughs> got one out. Now if I can get one out, I can get the other one out. Beauty. Not the, not the cleanest. Lots to work with, but see if we can at least make these holes big enough to put the components through. Maybe not. Okay, so the minus goes on the minus. It's already been marked out for us. But we got a bunch of junk over here. Let's clean it out from this side, maybe. Kind of going in. I'd say that is in all the way. Now it's just a matter of having enough solder on it. Okay, let's do another one. Ooh, that's a messy hole to start with. Well, that came out nice and good. If I can clean the other hole that well. I'll be laughing. Ah, that went a lot better. Okay. Wow, I can just push this one right through. Already seated. All right. Put it back together. I'm not going to show you that because it'll take me forever. Well, moment of truth. I got it put back together. It powers on. You can hear the hiss. Some of that hiss is probably the hiss from the mixer because it's a Behringer X32 and those are not the cleanest outputs. But I've got it hooked up and we shall see. It helps when you bring up this.
those are riffs from an upcoming song from my band. So there you have it, the Capacitors.